Daily Broadside, day 490. Why was Rue McClanahan the whore in Golden Girls? She was clearly the, by far, the ugliest of the golden women. Uh, Betty White, beautiful little woman uh, earlier in her life, and not a bad looking like 80 year old or 65 or whatever she was when they filmed that. B. Arthur was prettier than Rue McClanahan. Uh, she was just not an attractive one, and she's the one that bedded all the men. And, little known fact, she was married like six or seven times in real life. Uh, which, maybe that's why they made her that character, because she was a whore in real life, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I used to watch when I was a kid, man, Saturday mornings, Sunday mornings, whenever. I can't remember which one they came on. I'm going to say Sunday mornings, but I watched the New Yankee Workshop, all the Norma Abram shows, um, this old house, although I didn't like Bob Vila. I liked it when Steve came along and uh, that other guy's not bad, that new guy. But uh, I watched all those shows. The Woodwrights. Oh, man. I love that stuff. That Woodwright guy, he's from, like, North Carolina. And I think he does, like, classes for, like, you know, a few hundred dollars. He'll teach you how to build stuff and whatnot with just, you know, rudimentary tools that have no electricity assigned to them. And I just like to shake that dude's hand because I bet it would just crush you. Uh, that guy, like, sweats and gets out of breath when he's filming a 22-minute show. It's pretty impressive. Plus, he's, he's a very skilled uh, laborer. But here, I say that to say this. Uh, I had the idea back in the day. I mean, I, I watched that stuff since I was like a little kid. I was just always fascinated with building things and making things and fixing things and creating things and any other verbs I could come up with in that realm. But uh, I had the idea one day. I remember I was watching an episode probably like in you know early high school or something. And they had these like um, concrete walls that they craned in. They're building a basement and they were basically like you know, prefab concrete walls that wouldn't leak, uh, leak or anything like that, which, you know, they, they have today, um, all over the place. But, um, I got the idea. I was like, man, they, they should make like Legos for like real houses, you know, like Lego blocks that are, you know, basically the size of center blocks that don't weigh anything, but they're insulated. There's some kind of weird composite material that's like recycled. So it's good for the planet. And you could basically build your own house if you wanted to. It wouldn't have to be, you know, stick framed and all that stuff. And, you know, you could make amends for, you know, how you plumb it and how you, you know, you could have conduit run into it and all this kind of stuff. But basically, if you were like, hey, let's, uh, you know, Gene Hackman's telling you to build something, you know, at Lowe's that weekend. You're just like, hey, let's go build a laundry room. And you just go pick up a bunch of blocks and you just add on to your house, you know. And I thought to myself, that would be pretty cool. And then uh, it would be very easy. You could just adhesive them on, you know, uh, with some kind of instruction, construction adhesive and uh, and roll on. And, and I, I remember seeing a few years ago that someone had taken that idea and actually uh, used it. So I didn't know anything about the patent process when I was like 12. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. And while we're thinking about building stuff, girls, ladies, women, of all ages, if you're looking for a suitor, a mate, uh, someone in life to carry you through this uh, doldrum and melancholy that we call life, I'll tell you what you should do. Here's here's the, it's a two-step process, two questions that will let you know everything you need to know about this potential dude you're about to go out with to the Benihana's to, uh, this weekend and see how well you mesh, right? Um, and that's this. You ask him, what are you currently reading, okay? And based on his answer, you can just break up with him right there. Or B, uh, you hand him a nail and tell him to hammer it, okay? And then you just count how many times he misses and how many times it takes him to drive that son of a bitch home. And I'm not talking about like a two inch finish nail with like a six pound hammer, six ounce hammer that, that was in your grandma's junk drawer in the kitchen. I'm talking about like a sinker and like a framing hammer, like a man's hammer, S wing, Vaughn, American made, you know what I'm saying? Um, and just hand him the hammer and if uh, you'll know everything you need to know about his dainty little hands and how well he hammers something home and what he's reading today um, as to whether or not you would want to later on procreate and create another human that's much like him at least half like him you know what I mean um, so yeah I was watching a video uh, yesterday and it was a dude that was fixing a pool liner right never had a pool to me it's like a boat you know you just want friends with pools you don't want friends uh, you don't want to own a pool. It's just not worth the, the amount of money and upkeep and trouble and all that crap. So, and I don't think most most people probably don't use them near enough to justify the cost. But at any rate, uh, this dude was fixing a pool liner, right? And um, they said that it was losing like six inches of, uh, of water a day, maybe something like that. So he goes under there and he goes diving. And he, he basically just takes off his work uniform and he's in a bathing suit and some goggles he goes down there and he finds a few tears he's got to repair and all this 
and he gets back out and uh, puts his shirt back on and uh, gets back in the truck, goes on the next call. And I'm thinking, does this dude like go swimming like every two hours all day long when he's doing these service calls? Because, man, I think my understanding is dudes can get uh, yeast infections as well just sitting around in a wet bathing suit. I don't think it's as common, but I think it's still possibly a thing. Um, from what I understand about like pant yeast, I don't really understand a ton, but I, I understand that men can get that. And I imagine sitting in a wet bathing suit all day long is probably not um, inroads to staving off such a, a, a problem with, with your lower region. Uh, but uh, yeah, does he just like get back in a pool every two hours just the time he's drying off or is he in the back of his van like just changing clothes um because there's nothing worse than putting on a wet bathing suit um you know when when you've dumped jumped into a pool and then you get out and then you got to put the same thing on oh it's a horrible feeling it's like taking off a wet t-shirt that's just a gross feeling too i don't know and speaking of bathing suits uh, a few years ago i bought a uh, a borat bathing suit this has probably been like three years ago you know the, the lime green with the you know there's just the two straps over the shoulder asked me why i did this because i thought it'd be funny and i saw they sold them on amazon so i bought one and i gotta tell you this i don't know how that dude kept everything inside that thing because um <laughs> well, first, well the first time i put it on backwards which clearly that wasn't enough material to to you know encapsulate everything let's let's say but even when you put it on the right way you know and the ass strings in the back and the the, the the ball sack pouch uh is in the front it's just not enough room there's not enough real estate for that so i imagine that there were a lot of tan like those uh those strips that you use that like adhesive you know your titties on when you wear like a um like a ball dress or something like a, a ball dress a dress to a ball i don't know what i'm talking about but i know women have like things that hold up their their dress when they don't wear a bra does that make sense I think Borat uh, probably used those bra straps for his ball sack. It's, it's been a long day. I get it.